purchase of a safe room. The safe room is reserved for equipment and or other property not being currently used and as a backup safety location for employees only. This is not a break room and should not be considered a place for employees to hide and or congregate. And under no circumstance should a customer ever be taken into this room and out of the main show area. Management has also been made aware that the Spring Bonnie animatronic has been noticeably moved and would like to remind employees that this costume is not safe to wear under any circumstance. Thank you and remember to smile. You are the face of Brave Bad Bears people. Hey guys, Master here, and I am here with Doc Novak this time. And Hi. we are here to discuss. I know this is not going to be in my channel at all, nor do I plan it to be. But we are going to discuss Five Nights at Freddy's theories. With the just all three game series. Yeah. Not just one game. No, well, as a, as a whole. The franchise yeah. as a whole. The series. The series. <laughs> Whatever. Moving on. So, Zach, go ahead and go with the first topic, since I'm doing the last. Alright, the first topic that I brought up is that in the prize corner of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, on the shelf, you can see a bunch of plushies. Those uh -huh. plushies aren't just normal, like, decoration and prizes. They go in order of the games. If on the last shelf... <laughs> oh, I God, uh... The vibrations. He's on his right. phone, talking to me, so... Sorry, um, the Five Nights, hang on. That was you calling, texting me. But still, oh, pff, huh. oops. The shelves. On the bottom shelf, it represents Five Nights at Freddy's 1. The second shelf, it's for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. The third shelf is Five Nights at Freddy's 3. The third shelf only has one animatronic, because there's only one animatronic in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Oh. And all the others have four. That, that's, and so, Scott, like, put this Easter egg within it. Oh, that's cool. So, what is there to discuss about that? It's just a normal Easter egg. Oh, alright. Yeah, so, Easter go ahead egg. and bring up another topic. Go ahead. Um, so, in the second game, well, I, no, actually... In the third game, hmm, I'm trying to think of a topic. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Well, um, Zach thought of one. All right, Zach. I forgot it. Spill the beans. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yes. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh my sorry, god. Did you pause? Uh, all right. Uh, the balloon boy. The balloon boy. All right. Well, spill your beans. Wait, you're already going? Yes, I'm going. Oh, um, the Balloon Boy theory about him is that he never existed. That's but in the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 game, there's this head in the box. The what can we use box. I think that's what they yeah. call it. And, but, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the phone guy never mentions him, nor, or just his features or anything. All he mentions, he only mentions the other animatronics, and basically, Bloom Boy never existed. And if he's in your office, within his smile, you can see, like, two eyes in the back of his mouth. And so, those sm that's, uh, the, those eyes... Like represent a kid, the ki and on the right of the office screen in two, in Five Nights Two, um, you can even see a picture of a drawn picture of Balloon Boy in inside. So and, you're trying to say that the theory that Balloon Boy doesn't exist is false? Uh, no, it's it's true. Then how is it true? Cause um, cause there's the what can we use bull. The Balloon Boy's head is in the What Can We Use box. What and if they found it in the back room? Eh? What if... Well, like, how would... Wait. Also, the how... Calls, hang on, hang on. Stop, stop. I just kind of just came up with this. The phone calls are meant to be a recording. Right? Yeah. yeah. 
So what if Balloon Boy existed after the phone calls were recorded? Like, right at the beginning of the game, Balloon Boy was created. Huh? Huh? Got your number? Ah. Yeah, that is a good point. So, if he was created after the games have begun... But who created this name, anyway? That's the real question. And what's that sound behind you? That's another question. I don't know. Your turn. Muting so, myself. Alright, so... Um, let me... What? Alright, so... Um, the next topic that... This one's actually for me. Why do you think... That... Bonnie... Isn't a phantom... In Five Nights 3. Because I actually developed a few things. We're talking here together. Is that in the Night 4 mini game, you see Springtrap there. And some some say that Spring in which In which game? 3. In 3, the mini um, game. Night 4, mini game. Five Nights yes. 3. Yes, and you'll see... Uh, Golden Freddy and Springtrap. I'm thinking that gold. There was a Golden Bonnie. So you're and saying you know, that it, Springtrap it, does it, represent like a phantom, like a phantom Bonnie? Not phantom, just normal Golden Bonnie. Uh, but Chica is already golden, basically. So, but who knows? That guy, that one may have never existed. That's um. But anyway. So, if you look at Springtrap during the game, he looks really dirty. But if you go back 30 years, look at him nice, new, and clean, I'm pretty sure he looks pretty good. Like, and golden. He... he looks golden. Ha ha. Knee slap. Uh... Alright. Um, the one thing that I have to counteract that is... What? You said in the... I know what minigame you're talking about. The Easter egg minigame? Yeah. No, uh, not Easter egg, just a normal minigame. The, one that, the one that you... Cl oh. To get to the good ending. Oh, yeah. That is an Easter egg. Well, I, that's what I call the Easter egg ones. Easter egg. The, the actual ones are... All right. on. So, um, what I have to counteract that is, if he's shiny and new, in that minigame, you saw Golden Freddy was shiny and new. And spring trap and spring trap still had that bent ear. No. Uh, so that means during that during that time. So also this leads back to my other theory. What do you think about? There's a theory that comes up that Golden Freddy is the. This leads right into it that Golden Freddy is the. Um. Is the Freddy from Fazbear's Diner? Yeah, the first Freddy, the first one. And so, in Springtrap at his side. And, and Springtrap spring at his trap. side, but how could Springtrap be damaged? Even when, um, Golden Freddy was shiny and new. Uh, during the time when. Freddy was just starting to become sort of like when Go when Golden Freddy was in somewhat good condition, yet still sort of golden. Dude, it was thirty years from there. It was thirty years after, before. Okay, timeline. Thinking about the timeline, that okay. So here's uh, the first mark is is where Springtrap actually came into play. Alright. Uh, the second bullet is where Springtrap... Yeah, if you can turn on your camera, uh, it's not recording on a... It's not... It won't be on the recording, but I like it more visual... Well, whatever. Just keep talking. You know what? I'll, I'll save that one theory second to last. Um, All you right. go. Go ahead. So, I'm what myself. I'm trying to say is, like, Golden Freddy basically looks brand new other than the fact that his paint is rotting away that gives him the golden color but think springtrap has been rotting inside of a restaurant from the minigame um well he was falling up things. so there are roaches and rats and all that just eating his his skin the not yeah. 
like he's eating him away maggots and stuff they oh were my god animals. thank you for that thank you for that image well i had to explain it somehow so you do have a good point yes the uh what i'm pointing out here is i think that Springtrap, aka Golden Bonnie, is older than Freddy from the Fazbear's Diner. Hey, so no. what I'm trying to say is there was a there was something before Fazbear's Diner. No, Fred Bear's Diner. Fred Bear's Family Diner. There was something hey, no. there was like something before that that involved Bonnie. Hang on. And therefore, Bonnie is older than the rest of them. I'm developing this theory. Um, I'm not the one who came up with this theory, viewers. Um, Smike did. Sorry. If oh, I, yeah. Sorry about that, Andrew. But he said about the spring laws of Springtrap, um, how Springtrap has five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And it's perfect... The spring lots basically make it into from animatronic mode to suit mode. Like it like yeah, goes it can turn into a suit. And so back then, probably golden. So I don't know what came first, golden Freddy or spring trap. So spring yeah, this is this definitely helps my theory because so if there was a diner before Fred Bear's family diner. Um, then that means that, um, that means that the technology has just been built, and therefore, um, Springtrap is actually a little bit more defective than any of the other animatronics. Um, also, it's supported by the fact that he has, like, spring locks in him that in case that he doesn't work, which apparently frequently um, he would shut down, so that's why they added the spring locks. But yeah, um. But let me finish. Go ahead. There's a big butt there. Um. Oh. So now that we have that out of the way, I'm sorry, I'm playing here too. But, yeah. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, so let's look at it first. The first thing, let's look at the spring locks first. The spring locks prove that, uh, he was there before Golden Freddy or Fad, Fad or even there was an older restaurant that included Bonnie, not Freddy. And then yeah. Bonnie t kept stop working, so people had to get into the suit, and for the rest of the day, they had to actually become the thing. That's why they're the spring locks. Uh -huh. Also, the other also, there's also more evidence to back up that the fact that there's an older restaurant, um, an older restaurant before there. Hang on. You know how I said uh, Bonnie would be more. Uh, would more. be more would be more defective than the others. Yeah. This is why in both no, all three games, Springtrap representing Bonnie here. Um Bonnie attacks you first. In the first game it's obviously Bonnie. Second game, you're always attacked by either Toy Freddy or Toy Bonnie. Most of the time it's Toy Bonnie. And this yeah. well actually no, never mind. Um, you're always attacked. You're attacked by Toy Freddy in the f in the second game, but you're. But at the same time, like that could be representing Golden Freddy getting a little bit more defective as well. And then and then um, Springtrap, the original Bonnie from this former restaurant. Let's call it let's call it Bonnie Bonnie's Pizza for right now. Bonnie Bonnie's Pizza. Bonnie's Pizza, yeah. Bonnie's Pizza. Um Springtrap. Springtrap, aka Bonnie from Bonnie's Pizza would be definitely attacking you first. It's 
And apparently they might have created something that can adapt or something. Mm. So they may they made the mistake. Say may maybe there was multiple five ma multiple um Freddy Fazbear's pizzas. There were. There was like a it was a bit it was kinda like McDonald's. There's a lot of them throughout the entire place. Kinda like Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. Not sponsored by McDonald's. Not sponsored by McDonald's, no. But you know what I mean. There's a lot of them. Not just that one. So maybe one of them contained the um maybe one of them contain whoop. Well, maybe one of them contained the uh spring trap or um golden bonnie all right anyway from me... the from bonnie's pizza yeah. and bonnie's pizza went out of business and then freddy and then fred bear's diner went into business and then that went out of the business led to find it to F or freddy Fazbear's bear's pizza and then it was improved which is a uh, no, and then it was left to rot, which then there was another one, and then there was another one, and then that went out of business because of, like, murders and stuff, as you saw in the newspaper clippings, and then the, uh, Fazbear, Fazbear's Fright went into business and then burnt to the ground. And there was only one Fazbear's Fright because, like, how could you get that many artifacts? Okay, think of it as a family tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All, all of us know what that is, should should know what that is. Yeah. So, like, there's multiple restaurants, and then it all leads down to this one thing. Yeah. All leads down to Fazbear's Fright. Yes. Also, here's There's another theory. Um... All right, so actually, um, are we off the subject or are we still going? Um, uh, uh, we're off that subject, right? All right, now. so new theory now. All right, new theory. I like the sound effects. Da -da -da -da. Um, no, I can't do that yet. I know, I know. Mitchell probably can, but no. Moving on. Um, I forgot. Yes, I found. I found it. Um, in all of the newspapers at the beginning of the game, before you even start, all the first two are help wanted, right? Yeah. But then the last one, it just says coming soon. It's not even circled. And here's a theory on who this man is. Whatever happened to Mike Schmidt? Uh-huh. That uh, is good. Uh-huh. So, basically, Mike Schmidt... I see where... Yeah, I can add something onto this theory, but go on. It's like taking... It's like a promotion, basically. Taking one person from a small restaurant and putting them up. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So basically, Mike Schmidt basically just moved on to a different job that basically works for the same place. After the thing went out of business. Yes. But the company, like, it's another family tree here. Starts from one person, goes down a million. Only it goes... And we're just following one, just like one particular person per family. Yeah. Per, per, br per branch, we're only following like, we're only following one branch, like one core center. Yes. For the people. Yeah. The places is a different story. There's still. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I just found something that could counteract the other theory. But anyway, uh, he said, the phone call says, in the beginning of the game, it says, the other one was left to rot. Yeah. That means there was, there was an only one other one, and then, so it's not a family tree, it's more of a timeline. Mm. So saw that, so, oh. What? In the Five Nights 3, in the Five Nights 3 minigames... Yeah. You have the boarded up... You find that there's a boarded up area in Five Nights 1, a.k.a... The back room. Yeah, the back room. Five Nights 1, the one that happened after Five Nights 2. Yeah. 
So that's where they could have been keeping Springtrap. That's where they've always been keeping Springtrap. And there is another back room in 2. I found out where it is just now. Where? You know in the Gmod map. Gmod. Oh, the, okay, so yeah. Okay, by the way, possible. just saying Gmod, unless it was made by Scott Cawthon, which it is, and I've already looked, it's completely unofficial. We can't use that for theories. Well, anyway, but still, um, there's a wall. There's like, okay, all of us know that there's a wall right next to Bonnie to the left, but all the way into the right of the camera in the in the parts and service room of Five Nights Two, um. There's a wall next to Bonnie, but all the way to the right of wall next to Freddy is an opening. Oh, yeah. And that's, where, and that's where Foxy is, too. And then behind that wall that Bonnie's next to, to the left of him, is probably Springtrap. Just so right there. there's Springtrap? So that's where he's kept in the second game. And then he was moved, for the first game, he was moved into the boarded up area. I figured it out. Alright. I figured it freaking out. Okay. The reason... Okay, this place is basically like a safe room. You know, bricks and all that. The back rooms. All and right. that back room, basically, like... And the reason they keep Springtrap around with the Spring Lots opened up still, without the animatronic 14, is that a guard or something, someone puts it on and then lures the children in there That in case they're not very good listeners. Okay. Is anybody trying to get, catch up with me here? So, I also came up with one thing. You what? said that in Five Nights 2 or 1, in both, they took out the animatronics in it. What do you mean? They took out the animatronics in Springtrap. Yeah, but hang on. I'm, I okay. found a one like five minutes ago that I just remembered. Um, The reason the purple guy ripped apart all the animatronics in the minigame after the nights in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is yeah, that's that... Yeah, that was actually one of my questions. It's a power source inside of them. And to make this one animatronic work, they pat he had to take all that power. But why block. would he have to do that when he had to open up the spring locks? Yeah, sp the spring locks are power. They're not mechanic. It's, oh, it's a crank. It's it is a crank. It's a. But it's a switch or something. Switch. I don't know. It's don't a know. crank. It's because following up from my. Uh... Bonnie's Pizza thing. Three, three, four, five. Wait a minute. It had to be a plan then. A plan. He knew the child would come after uh, him. Oh, I know what. What? I know why. Uh, I know why he tore him up. Mm. <laughs> so, the well, reason he tore him up was because he said in. Five Nights 2, um, phone guy said, quote, they have some sort of, like, they basically have some sort of, well, I'm not quoting this, but actually now, but they have, like, facial recognition? Yeah, thank you, I was looking for, that was the word I was looking for, facial recognition. So that's why he tore, oh. tore him up so they couldn't call the cops or anything. Oh, Just yeah. to make so that like means Mangle. so that means Mangle. that the purple gu so that means that the purple guy was there during Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And therefore that means that the purple guy cuz the mini games in 3 take place in 1. That means that the purple guy is Jeremy. What? That means that the purple guy is Jeremy. How's that work? Because the purple guy, if the purple guy is Jeremy, who is the security guard from 2, that means he was there and he knows that they have facial recognition. And just to make sure that, to see if they still have it, he made sure that he wasn't caught. 
by the animatronics. And therefore, that the purple guy who killed the five children is Jeremy Fitzgerald. Now. I don't know why. I, that seems like a stupid idea. If why you does were that... to kill kids at one location, why would you work at that same location? You went, you get into the work, you get into, it says a disguise, Zach. You get into, you work at that location, you work at that location, get to know things. Then, later on, you are able to tamper with the animatronics to get you find out how they work, you tamper with the animatronics, and get um, mangled to execute the bite of 87, which is true because of his jump scare, and the radio's coming from the the extra head. That that radio isn't coming from the extra head. It's, it's, coming, it's coming from the extra head because the main head, because you know how it's saying it's out of control and stuff? Yeah. It's... Because the main head goes straight for your head during the jump scare of Mangle. Ah! Oh. Okay. So, a little mi there's a little mini theory there. Um, so, you tamper with Mangle to make it so he is uh, the one who... And he executes um, the... The fight of 87. There's one... That, ki that child survived... So, Jeremy thinks like, "Hey, you can't if you, you can't trust an animatronic to do a man's job." So, what he does is he he finds the spring trap suit and puts it on and uh, kills the children. And then now he wants to go, and now he's being haunted by them in one. Because he wants to, uh, not exactly sure. Okay, so, um, that'll be the next question, though, but we'll get to that in a minute. But therefore, and then he tr Stop. What? Hey, okay, um, right now, I am watching, uh, the, f the phone calls about Five Nights of Freddy's 3. Three. Um, right now, I'm on the night 2 phone call. And it just said, uh, there's even subtitles, it says, right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. Feeling golden yet? <laughs> nice pun. I like it. Um, you're always the pun master. Yes, I Um. But two, no. two design suits. Golden Freddy and Springtrap. Yep. So... But wait, wait, and wait, wait, you know wait, wait, how, you know how you can find I? Golden Freddy as a suit, Andrew. Golden Freddy only has four fingers. But look, look, look at how big his pinky is. No, his his uh, middle finger. No, his pinky. Look how big it is. Eh, fine. Yeah. So you could fit two fingers into that one thing. So, um. Also, you know how you can find uh, Golden Freddy as a suit? Oh. There's an Easter egg that he'll sh he'll literally show up in the office right next to you. I know, I know that. I yeah, know, you about, know about that. Just... All right, I can um for those of you watching, picture is on your screen now. And... Wait a minute. Figure it out. Okay, in Five Nights 2, if uh, Golden Freddy's in your office, you'll see down by his feet, by his ankles, that there's still animatronic, but there's a kid inside. Uh huh. Wait, what? Remember? Hold on, say that again. I didn't exactly hear you. Alright, I'll repeat that, but go slower. Oh, bro, no. But, um, in Five Nights 2, when you see Sprint, uh, not Sprint Trap. Golden Freddy in your office, you'll down by his legs, you'll see animatronic. Okay. Yeah. And so Picture, pictures on your screen now, hopefully. And there's a kid inside the suit. And so that's the other suit with the spring lot mechanism. Okay. And the Alright, so So yeah. 
Is that all we have today? I'm trying to think of one more thing. Alright. So, the five children include oh. gold, as said in the Easter Egg mini game. I just fell. Dude. The Easter Egg mini game. Um, happiest day. Yes. Yes. The five animatronics that are possessed are Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Golden Freddy. Yeah, because in the bad ending sign, yeah. there's an extra head in the background with a light inside of it. But hang on, um, I just found something. In Five Nights at Freddy's 3, if you go into the camera where Chica's face will appear on the screen of a video game, I don't know which camera that is, but go ahead and find it. Um, the There's another game right there in the bottom left of the corner, and there's Foxy's face on that game. There is, wait, what? Foxy's mouth, his jaw, his teeth, and everything, which seem to be bloody. Okay. In... In, in which one? Three. In three? Yes. Alright, go and on. Let's just stop me. Um, wait, the... go back to your original theory that you were doing. What theory? The Foxy? Yeah. Um, but, uh, Foxy's head is on the game system thing. Something like that. Um, hang on, where did all these games come from? In in Five Nights 1, there was never even a single game. It was just a dining area. But in Five Nights 2, there were just the uh, new animatronics games. Now that's a theory to think about. Where did it come from? Oh my god. But I... I just figured something out. So, I looked up on Wikipedia frontal lobe. Because you said the ki Bite of 87 kid lost his frontal lobe. Yeah. What I'm saying is that the marionette is the victim from, what's it called? The Bite of 87. Because he is not represented as any dead children in his game. He, the, the marionette, the, it says here, source Wikipedia, Andrew, that the frontal lobe contains most of the dopamine sensitive neurons in the cerebral cortex. The dopamine system is associated with w reward, attention, short term memory, short term memory tasks, planning, and motivation. So that means that he's. His attention and basically his personality was um, left at the at the diner, and his body might still be alive, but he may not be able to pay attention to anything. He really do, he really wouldn't have a personality or anything. So his soul, his heart would still be beating, but his soul would possess, like, the marionette. And therefore, the marionette can operate without strings. Okay, Andrew, I want to back you up a little bit on this theory about you saying that the Jeremy Fitzgerald is the killer. Okay, I'm still looking at this uh, YouTube video about the phone calls. It says, after learning an unfortunate incident at the central location involving multiple and simulated uh, simulated spring lock failures, the company has seen the suits un temporarily unfit for employees. They ding, ding, said ding. that, but so, Jeremy, that is a good point. Yeah. That's why Jam Jeremy first started but the first thing he did was try to uh Goodness. was try to tamper with the animatronics before trying to get himself hurt so what he did was uh he tampered with mangle because he was easiest obvious 
and obviously you know why. I'm like, it's Mangle. It says it right there in his name. Um, so, the reason he did that, and therefore the marionette is a victim of a failed attempt at murder. Ah. So, basically... Basically, the Mary, the Mar the so Jer once that he learned that the child was alive. Um, Jeremy figured, hey, um, so no, never mind. He got inside the Golden Freddy suit. Who did? Jeremy. Ah. He got inside the Golden Freddy suit because that had like less spring locks or whatever. It was easier to get into. Okay. So therefore, Jeremy, uh, it was easier to get inside of Golden Freddy. So Jeremy came in as Golden Freddy and Andrew. What? And We're that's. Right. We are freaking geniuses. Look at this. Excuse me, I'm... sir. I'm the genius. Okay, go on. Shut up. Anyway, it says here management has also been made aware that the spring Bonnie animatronic has been notice mo noticeably moved and would not like to remain employees that this costume is not safe to wear under any circumstances. It is Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. It's so now that we have that cover, that it is Bonnie. Yes, it even says I can even snapshot it, but I don't know how to do that on the surface. Moving on. Oh, you're on your surface. Yeah, I'm on my surface. What else would I bring? Oh God. Hold on. All right. Um, find a way to. All right, find a way to uh, sn snapshot that. Send it to me over Skype. I'll try. And I'll try and put that on the screen. So. Right, like right now? Um, yep. <laughs> if, well, it, it, if, I, if it worked, then it'd be on the screen right now. How about I just look it up on my phone? Yeah, good idea. Alright, I'll so, be back. Wait, no, 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 no. One more thing before we leave. What? So there's one thing that I'm thinking of doing. What? Er, so, you know how we got into the... The spring suit of Golden Freddy? What? Cut for, to execute the five murders. And then... What happened was... Apparently, since it's much older... The... Spring trap Bonnie suit is more prone to fail. No crap. It is more prone to fail because it is much older. Hang on, Andrew, did you know there was a Night Sis phone call? What do you mean? There's a Night Sis phone call. Five Nights Three. I never even knew about this. Should I read it out to you? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, it, it literally starts. Uh, so, uh, this is a uh, just. This is just to inform all employees that due to budget dis restrictions, the previously mentioned safe rooms are being sealed in most locations, including this one. Oh yeah, and I remember that one. I gotta, I gotta keep reading this. It's going on this video. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I can just play it, but I'll echo. Work crews will be here most of the day, day to day, constructing a false wall over the old door face. Good yep. to know. Alright. No, that can't, hang on, hang on, there's more. Nothing is, is nothing is seen taken out beforehand, so if you le le left anything inside, it's, then it's your own fault. 
So basically, they didn't even, they didn't even look inside it. Manage also requests that this is not mentioned to family, friends, or insurance representatives. Hang on. I think there's a little more. more. Thanks again. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy's advisor of pizza. Who cares? That's not what he says at the end. Just never mind. Continue. Hello. I know I'm here. Um, I'm trying to think because of that and build at the same time. All right. So um, me? wait. Uh, so back to the Jeremy Fitzgerald thing. He got inside Golden Freddy. To any successfully executed the five murders, and apparently he, he this motive, um the the same motive apparently got him to do it again. So, but he and he apparently wore his old uniform and got into Five Nights One, Friday Fazbear's Pizza. Now he went inside the back room and put on the spring trap suit. Well, because it's older, it's more likely to fail, as I said before. Now, because of this, he literally died. That's why he died in the spring trap suit and not in the Golden Freddy suit. Ah. Uh. Also, one more thing. Viewers, have you ever seen Fossey without his mouth open? Oh. Jesus. I mean... Even in the, on the wall. In number one, yeah. In number one, two, three, and, and three. Um, in on number wall, in number one, he is he can have his mouth open like when he's looking out the curtain. But every every time we see him, just mouth jaw straight open. Because uh, we know his jaw was dislocated, correct? He but hang on, the fight of eighty seven didn't even happen. But why is it like it happened it, beforehand? So, uh, and then they made two, him with unusually sharp teeth, as they noticed. In number two, as I can talk, in number two, the bite of 87 didn't happen yet. And so, it's just still open. In number two, he can close it. In number one, he can't, because they know the biting of 87 and his unusually sharp teeth, so they unscrewed it in advance. Yep. Oh, um, if you check your Skype there, take a drink of water. If you if you check your Skype there too, take a drink of wa take another drink of water. Why? It's a drinking game. <laughs> if if the people who are watching. So, um. So, I'm trying to think of a good conclusion. So, basically, what we thought of was there was an old diner. There was an old diner called. Well, what are. We're calling it. Bonnie's Pizza. Bonnie's Pizza is. Uh, is really old. And it. And it started. And it starred. Springtrap Bonnie. And no. that's why, st and Springtrap Bonnie, um, excuse my, I'm trying to recap. Springtrap Bonnie, therefore, is older than Springtrap, th than Golden Freddy, who is also presumably a, a Springtrap. The murderer was Jeremy Fitzgerald inside of the Golden Freddy suit. Be the reason he executed the murders inside the Freddy suit, um, which was presumably ruled out as not safe, was because was because he tried to tamper with Mangle, and that left the boy alive, which the victim of Bite of Eighty Seven soon became known as the Marionette. Which is trying to get, which, which, 
which oui. is the marionette. The marion the marionette is the messenger who was able to help the children's souls. Help the children's souls uh re uh, possess the animatronics so they could live um although in pain. Um the marionette the boy is alive, but he has no personality. His personality he has a heart but no soul, basically. And his soul possessed the marionette. And the reason Jeremy, or the purple guy, tore apart the, the animatronics is to, to make sure that there was no uh, facial recognition software inside of them. Because he thought they were. The reason he died inside of Springtrap and not Golden Freddy is because Springtrap is much older than Golden Freddy, and therefore the Springtraps were. and they didn't bother to repair it because, you know, it was already ruled out unsafe. Was. And Springtrap was the only suit inside the room at that time. Yep, and so he tried to get into there, and then, you know, it sort of turned out really wrong. Yes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like this series. If you do, click that like button below. And this is it for the first episode of... Of Big... Gaming... The Big Picture is what we're going to call it. Big Picture Theories. And I'm Mashed Rookie. And Dot, and dot know that. Just like in WKMS. Yep. Say good night and peace out. See you in the next video. Thanks, guys.